this episode of Sailing Nanji, Christmas comes early as our new wind vane is delivered. We install the vane and take it for a test run. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Finally just found out. I think they're here. Let's go find out. Wasting no time, we opened the boxes and got to work installing our new friend, Robert Kirkin. Of course, nothing is straightforward with Nanji though. We're going to mount it over here. So we have a bracket here and a bracket below this shelf, but I started punching around the back of the transom here and we found this soft spot. So we've got this heap of rot here and there's a bit of a soft spot up over here too. It's just where water's got in. So it's just still wet, it's like it's early stages, but I'm gonna have to reinforce this whole back transom before we can even start mounting. You know, I was thinking I was gonna be able to just quickly install this, take me two days, hit them up bang bang and out here. We caught this right early, but like it's it's still there's just water in the wood, so we need to dry that wood and get it out so that rot doesn't doesn't swell. So I have to dry that wood and I can just full glass it up. Half my little meltdown before. Shed a few tears. But, end of the day, it's not gonna fix itself, so just gotta get in there and hurry up and do it. We've sanded it all back, we've taken off all the paint, pulled out all the shelves, dug out a big hole, get it all ready to fiberglass. So tomorrow I can get plywood and fiberglass from the store. Glass it all up, patch it all up. Make it, make it beautiful. Do you want me to cut some? Yeah. Letting the wood dry out for 48 hours, I then filled the cavity with some marine ply and epoxied it all in. For more reinforcements, we laid layers of chop strand and fiberglass cloth over half of the inside of the transom. It's part of the installation, so we have the brackets that mount onto the back of the transom. Because we've got chain plates that come down and that sort of stuff, so we're using timber pads, so they don't go onto the transom, but then this here will go over the chain plate, so it's just all to make it all flush. And... How's your uh, chisel? How's my chippy skills? Chisel skills. Well, I probably wouldn't trust me building your house. <laughs> you mean watching those Vanuatu men uh, make those big yeah. uh, sculptures? Yeah. Uh, you'll be making dolphins in no time, Yosh. We've gone from having a really clean boat to a really clean lazarette. Just putting this first bracket on. We've just we've mounted one bolt through. We want to get the two brackets as far apart as 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 far apart as we can. This is about as low as we can mount this bottom bracket, so... So, I've taken a bolt out of the chain plate that you use on this backstay. The top bracket will be up here. But we've just got to get this one nice and square. Still a bit of a dummy run with some... PV soy. favourite thing, isn't it? Uh, how many holes have you put in this boat? <laughs> I used to get so nervous when I drill holes, now I don't even think about them. Just... <laughs> how thick is the hull? There. It's, it's pretty like, thick, isn't it? Thick. Yeah. Well, we're just mounting this bottom bracket, H bracket I believe it's called. But so we, this is the backing plate, so that's going on the back there, but we want that to be perfectly flat up against the transom, so my fiberglass job obviously isn't uh, nice and schmicko, so I'll put a heap of epoxy on here to fill any gaps, so that kind of sets it onto that and keeps it all flat, spreads the load. He's a little bit... He's alright. He's in right? yep. I have to make sure that we square the port to starboard because forward and aft will square up. Let me put this top 
top bracket on, but that's all right, positioning of that bracket's good. That's how it's got to sit. So that'll sit good, but we need to get this wooden plate under here. 14 mil, 13 mil shaved off that edge. So we have to contour that 13 mil off one side, so to somehow slither a few degrees of it. So we need a chamfer the face of this wood to match that angle because this top bracket doesn't have a hinge. And it's at a, I think it's like a 40 degree angle that I read. But we want to make it so that strut that pokes out is at like a 15 degree angle. So we need to basically make this a 30 degree angle. If that makes sense. But I need to somehow sham for that. Which I really don't know how it's going to happen in Vanuatu. This edge stays same, but it needs to be perfectly straight. The lads down the dock there said their boss is an Aussie bloke who owns the company. He's up here just doing some work, so we come chase him down. Hopefully, he can help. He's got the trailer and all the tools. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Good. That's good. Unfortunately, the trailer of tools had no planer. So into a taxi we went, across town to the workshop. So old mate did a pretty good job here with the shim. He's, uh, he's planed that edge back really well. I was, we were going to go see a carver, then we saw a couple of chippies on land and then they pointed us to the boss and it happened to be the same people that, were, that we've been dealing with through our injection pump, same company. So he's an Aussie bloke, he was a good fella and he got on the tools for us. And, did really good so I'm pretty stoked with his efforts there. We've just got to mark out the backing plate now. So we've got a big surface of new fiberglass. So I'll mark the holes out on this backing plate. This is to spread the load. And then yeah when we put it in I'll put a heap of epoxy here just to fill up any gaps. You that much painting before? <laughs> This is not my best skill. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's, wrong? What's wrong? Hold it further away. Yeah. Now it closer. There? Yep, there. And then. I <laughs> uh, go closer. Yep, but like, do it in like one long streak. No, like. <laughs> <laughs> like, go like <laughs> across one way and then <laughs> across okay, the other. No. Yeah, that's the way. <laughs> All right, that's good. Yeah. Oh. No, no. What are you doing? I can't be good at everything, can I? You know, I really try, but... Uh... Well, just make the edges look really good, because that's what's uh... going to be mostly visible. <laughs> oh, just... One! One! Stop it! <laughs> it's too windy! Just one along there, let it dry, and we'll go back and do another coat. You don't need to, like, plaster it on. Oh. <laughs> You're doing good! Spray painting with Bond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Try the other one. Try round two. Listen oh, to my instructions yes. before you go nuts. So one long streak, whoosh, finger off the trigger. Alright. And then... Well, it's a bit windy, you know? Got to f nah, See, like, turn your can side on to that. No, side on, like, other 90 degrees. No, other 90. Flat, yeah, that way. Just <laughs> stop your turbo time. I haven't got all day, you know. I, I know. actually get this painted. <laughs> How's it looking? Yeah. <laughs> 
With both the mounting brackets in position, it was time to replace the PVC with stainless tube and construct the vane, installing the shaft and then the rudder. She's gonna put the rudder on, but she's pretty heavy, so we might just chuck a safety light on, I think. Yeah. Just in case. So we just put the rudder on and we've got to keep our safety line on here. Always, I think. And yeah, it's just locked in by a little pin and a split pin. Simple. The vane mechanism then mounts on top of the shaft. As my measurements were a little out, we had to lower the solar panel setup so the vane had space to do its thing. For the final touch, I put together the wind catcher. With a little help from silicon spray and zip ties, the vane was complete and ready to sail. All right, let's engage this wind vane. So we're nice and balanced. We've got a nice gentle breeze and it helps that there's not a lot of roll, I guess, but we've got our course, so we'll tighten off the wheel here. Then face the vane into the wind's apparent direction and lock the vane into one of three settings. Kick back and enjoy! It's working! It's working! With just a few minor adjustments, helps when we point it into the wind the right way. again uh, we cannot believe we have this amazing piece of technology on the back of our boat uh, once again I know we've said it a million times before but thank you to everyone that helped chip in to get the wind vane uh, we're seriously absolutely blown away by it yeah it's all because of you yeah. and it's only because of you that this has occurred so yeah thank you for watching our videos and thank you for allowing us to sail so much further we've, yes we've done probably 400 nautical miles with it now maybe yeah, probably a bit more even and it is heaven sent it is absolutely life-changing and sailing has just gone from being turning into a bit of a chore sleeping and steering whereas yeah. now this has just freed us up we've been able to relax enjoy ourselves and we've been having a very yeah. good time sailing so, like thank it, you all. Even being able to sit and look at the waves, you just can't do that when you're hand steering. So mm. it's just concentrating on the compass. Concentrating is just yeah. So, so so thank you to all of you people, especially Ken, Kirk, and Robert. We cannot thank you enough. You have been life changing for us, mate. And so we really appreciate what you've done for us and what you've done for Nanji. Yeah bloody legend we've got some crazy selling plans because of that um, little thing on the back there <laughs> so yeah. um yeah yeah it's game changing it's game changing that bad boy is just everything but so thank you all legends yeah. thank you very much okay all right catch ya see ya <laughs> coming up next on selling nanji with our modal troubles behind us we prepare nanji to depart port villa vanuatu embarking on our 1,000 nautical mile sail north to the Solomon Islands. These videos are proudly brought to you by our Patreons, the Sailing Nanji family. New patrons will be personally thanked by us in an upcoming episode.